Good evening, everybody. Stock here from OnTheMoneyOptions.com. This is our weekly technical analysis section for the week of March 11th, 2019. Uh, we had a blockbuster day in the markets today on the upside, but one of the things I noticed is that all seem to be fairly crowded toward the heaviest weighted stock. So that, again, is something to keep an eye on when you're looking at the markets because one day doesn't make a trend. Looking at the uh, major asset classes on their uh, net new highs, new lows, you'll notice that uh, uh, mid cap and small caps are actually put in more net new lows than new highs today and they've done so the last couple of days and this is an indication of a little bit of weakness so I would keep a close eye on this particular chart. This chart is our New York Stock Exchange bullish percent index. Uh, as you can see, we're at 62 right now. 62% of the stocks on the NYSE are on point figure buy signals. And I'd keep a close eye on this and make sure that, that this stays above the uh, bearish resistance line for any move forward that we see in the market. This is the New York Stock Exchange advanced decline line. Uh, today we had 1,705 uh, more stocks advanced than declined. So we're up 1,705 today. That's a good, really good day, good move. Um, so, But keep an eye on it because we're still below the channel line that we have put in since about 2016. So again, this is a place to be careful. This is the uh, SPY relative strength index. You can see that we're still not above the 60 level. And if you notice in this kind conversation is sort of a theme. We had a really good day today, but most of the internals don't suggest there's a tremendous amount of bullishness. So I'd be sure and keep an eye on on the markets going forward and, and watch for any signs of um, additional weakness. This is the uh, SPY rate of change. I know you're getting tired of hearing this, but it's still below zero. And in the last couple days, it's turned back down. So then again, this is another indication that there's some weakness in the market. And just recall that one day doesn't make a trend. So be careful that this, this is a chart of the uh, small caps relative to the S&P 500. They did go up a little bit today, but they're still a little bit on the low side uh, at about the 0.55 level. We'd like to see this continue to move up to make sure that the small caps are participating in a broad market move up. This next chart is the S&P Equal Weight Index relative to the S&P Cap Weighted Index. Again, there's another sign of weakness here. We put in a low. We put in a lower low than recently. Uh, this indicates, again, to me that we're seeing a lot of the move crowding into the largest cap weighted stocks in the indexes. This is the uh, uh, put call index for equities only. We're pretty much in the uh, on the uh, PPO there in the middle. We're pretty much in the middle of the range and this all looks fairly normal for this point in time. So I don't see a lot of indication that something that big is coming in the near future. Here's our VIX chart. Uh, we're, we did make a nice move off of the highs, we were down 10% today, down back under 15. So the market is still indicating plus or minus 1% a day move is about the max. So this still looks okay at this point in time. Again, no dark clouds on the horizon that are going forward. So in our last chart, what I want to look at is I want to look at the term structure. I want to look at the much longer term of the VIX futures. And as you can see here, this is a fairly normal looking chart. Uh, we're down below 15 on on the left in the near term and we're out to about 18 a little bit over 18 in the long term this is a very normal uh, VIX term structure there's not something there that suggests something really ugly is about to happen but just don't get taken by this big move today I would use every opportunity to hedge yourself so anyway this is Doc from OnTheMoneyOptions.com and as I always say trade smart and stay hedged I'll see you later